Whether you choose to use them or not will depend on your system, but you definitely need to know all these tips to avoid losing time when working with tasks in Evernote. Let's start with two important settings. Evernote tasks don't have alarms. To be notified, reminded, you have to add a reminder. And if you are doing this task by task, you're losing time. Let's fix this. Go to the tasks, click the three dots, default task reminders. Turn this on. You can choose up to five options here. I'll select at due time and also one day before. Now let me show you how this works. New task. I'm gonna set a remind. I'm gonna set it for tomorrow, 10 a.m. And there it is. From now on, every time you create a task with a due date, Evernote will add a reminder and you'll be notified. Don't leave just yet. There's another setting I want to show you here. Have you watched my video explaining how Evernote tasks are unique? If you haven't, I suggest you do so. You'll find the link in the description below. Long story short, Evernote tasks are note dependent. You have to have a note to create a task. But if you want to create a list, a simple list of random tasks, you can do it on a note that Evernote calls default task note. This new task I just created was created in that note. So let's go to the settings again, default task note. Things to do is the note Evernote creates for all of us. From here you can select a different note or even create a new note to be your default note to do. Okay, but this is not what I want to show you. <laughs> let's go to notes. Here we have the to-do note that is our default note for tasks. But when we created a task, the things to do was the default note. So I'm going to move them here. Did you know you could do that? Okay, now these tasks are in the to-do note. And let's go back to the default task note. And I'm going to check this pin to top of notes tab. Check the list. And now every task we create on our default note will be on the top of the list. By now I think you already know that you can use flags to flag a task and filter by flags, but there's another use case. Take a look at this task here. Let's add a flag. Did you see that it moved to a higher position in the list? It's behaving like this because I have my tasks sorted by relevance. This is a tip my clients love. So if you want to keep an eye on a task that doesn't have a due date, use the flag. And if we mark this one as complete and this one as complete, it's now the first task because the other ones are not due for the next couple of weeks. And talking about tips, many of you are asking me how I use tasks. I'm more a calendar person, but a while ago I gave myself a challenge. I moved many, maybe most or all the activities I had on the calendar, not the meetings of course, to Evernote tasks. To be honest, I'm struggling a little bit, but I think it's good because I'm coming up with solutions, with ideas that may be useful for you. So if you like the videos I create here on the channel and are excited to know how this story will end, subscribe to the channel. The video is coming up soon. Let's move on. If you are a tasks person, you have to add the tasks widget to home. It will give you a perspective of what's coming. However, I strongly suggest you use the median or the large size widgets. Let's select median here. Did you see what happened here? Now you have more context. You can even see the notes where the tasks were created. I'll talk more about this on my challenge video, but let me give you an example. Let's say this note here, are you seeing the signs is a meeting note and you need additional information to work on that task. 
So all you have to do is click here and open the note, check the meeting notes, OK, and now I can work on that task. Isn't this cool? You already know that I love this idea of the task being part of a note, right? But this is so cool. <laughs> Let's move on. If you watch my last conversation with Jack, you know that I would love to have more filter options for tasks. For now, we can combine tasks in general or completed tasks or not completed tasks with other elements in Evernote. I have already shown you how to do this with tags. Today, let's try doing it with a notebook. Let's say you want to quickly see all the notes in the meetings notebook with uncompleted tasks. Located in meetings, contains not completed tasks. Okay, we have our filter. Let's save the search. We can add it to the shortcuts, this is an option, but you know that I love Evernote Home. It's an amazing dashboard and I think that's where this will shine. So let's go back to Evernote Home and now I'm going to add here a filter with notes widget. Let it, let's set it here. And now instead of selecting all these options here, I can apply a saved search. I'm going to choose meeting tasks. It's going to use the same name, meeting tasks. And now we have all the notes with uncompleted tasks. Can you see how useful this is? I not only can see the notes, but I can see how many tasks. For example, in the note, are you seeing the signs? By the way, have you watched that video? It's all about what I'm talking here now. We have one task of three completed here on how calendar tasks are helping, zero of two. And now we have here list view with zero of one. Let's complete this one and go back to home. And here we have it, two plus two tasks to go. Evernote Home is super customizable. Learn how it works. There are many videos here in the channel. Make it the best dashboard for your needs. And now watch this other video to understand how tasks in Evernote really work. And if you wish to learn more about Evernote and productivity, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Let's say you want to quickly see all let's say you want to quickly see all of the notes in the meeting notes book. 